What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a solution to a very simple problem if you're using an N version of Windows 10 or possibly a heavily modified version. Basically, if you're trying to play the new Resident Evil Village and you're receiving an error, something about the WM video decoder, what exactly can we try and do to fix this? Well, it's pretty simple. When you first opened up the game, you're more than likely greeted with this over here asking you to install it. All that you had to do was tick the box and click exit. Though if you were someone who restarted your computer or something along those lines, you may have missed it. What can we do to get back to here and actually play the game? Well, simply fire up Steam, navigate across to Resident Evil Village, right click the game, hover over manage and click browse local files. Inside of this new window over here, you'll see an installer message.exe. All you have to do is double click this and you'll be prompted with this window over here. Simply click I accept the above message and then click exit. Now, usually you'd get that pop-up on the first launch of the actual game itself. However, if you didn't receive that pop-up or you think you might have closed it, causing the issue, this has probably solved it. All that you have to do from here is fire up the game through Steam and that should definitely fix your issue. However, if you're still receiving errors, it may be a codec issue on your computer. This is where the Windows 10 N edition that I mentioned earlier comes into play. All that we have to do to fix this is hit start and type in features. Click on manage optional features and inside of this new window over here, simply click add a feature and inside of here, we'll be searching for Windows Media Player. Now, of course, at this section, you would see the Windows Media Player add-on, but I don't have it on this list as I don't have an end version of Windows. I already have it installed right over here. Once it finishes installing, what we're going to do is install the media feature pack, which is also something your computer is probably missing if it's Windows 10 N. In the description down below, you'll find a link to it. This is an official Microsoft download, the media feature pack for N versions of Windows 10. Simply scroll down to the download section, click the select edition drop down, and then select the edition of Windows that you're currently using. However, if you don't see the version of Windows that you're currently using, which you can find out by pressing start and typing in view PC, opening up view your PC name, and you'll see the edition of Windows that you're using right down here. Anything above Windows 1903, which is probably what you're using, will be installed through the optional features section, which you can find more info on by clicking this button here. You'll see anything newer than 1903 will be available by clicking start, Settings, Apps, Apps and Features, Optional Features, Add a Feature, and then searching for the Media Feature Pack. This, of course, is where we previously installed the Windows Media Player. So hit Start, type in Features once again, Manage Optional Features, Add a Feature, and inside of here, search for Media Feature Pack. Now, of course, once again, I don't have this as I'm on Windows 10 Pro, and I don't think I'm able to download it at all on this version of Windows. But if you're on Windows 10 N, you should definitely be able to download it. At this point, all you have to do is restart your computer and try to launch the game once again. If you're still having issues for some reason or another, something you can try doing is downloading a third party codec pack. In the description down below, you'll find a very popular codec pack, the K-Lite codec pack. After clicking the link, you'll see this page here. Simply click Server 1, Server 2 or Server 3 to download the installer open it up when it's done downloading and follow through with the installation steps. Upon completion, make sure to restart your computer once again and try the game one last time. If you're still receiving errors, it's a very good idea to actually open up Steam, right click Resident Evil Village, click properties, and then in the local files tab, click the verify integrity of game files button to run through all the files on your computer and make sure that things are properly set up. At this point, you should definitely have a working game. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!